Hello and welcome to another Zach Carnage video. So, um, as you saw from the intro, I'm back now. Um, just trying out a different setup here. So, um, yeah, today we're going to look at the XV88 Broadside Battlesuit. This is my favourite, always been my, my uh, favourite bit of the towel. The uh, broadsides, all their battlesuits. Um, just a quick comparison. So, this is what your old one would look like. Um, Pretty much actual size, so new one's quite a bit bigger. Got the gun in a different place as well. So um, something that I'm really happy <clears throat> about is that a lot of the um, the new Tau models are based on fan conversions that people have done. So this one here with the kneeling pose and uh, rail twinning rail rifle uh, heavy rail rifle and one arm. That's actually based on based on previous conversions by other people of Crisis Battlefield. So, get everything out. Here we go, we've got the uh, transfer sheet, different sets, some far sight stuff. 60mm uh, base, because um, that's what they come on now. Thankfully it's not pre-molded, so um, you can do your own base work on that. Two drone bases. Now, um, I've been told that the, um, the XV-88 broadside is actually the only one which can take um, missile drones. So if you're planning on doing that, you might as well. And we'll take a look at the sprues in a minute. This is the instruction book, so you can see we can make one with the twin-linked heavy rail rifles, or one with the high-yield missile pods. And the first sprue. Um, okay, so we've got quite a lot of stuff on here. Instantly you can see we've got the heavy rail rifle. Um, we've got the arms for the high yield missile pod system, if we're getting closer. So um, the first thing here is a new head. Um, actually it's pretty much the same as the old ones. Not much differences there. Uh, these look like... Uh, oh, these are where the the weapon mount on the shoulder goes. Uh, then we've got some missile pods. Um, some more missiles, more missiles. So these four here, combined with these two and the arms, and that is what makes the high yield missile pod system. Two drones, some drones for missile drones. Um, these are the fronts of some different faces here. Uh, shoulder mounts for weapons. This is the end part of the Seeker missile. Uh, more shoulder bits of the shoulder mounts, uh, support systems, the plasma rifles. Um, this just looks like part of the armor panel. Some more armor. Actually, that, that's probably part of the gun. And then up here we have front parts of the new head sculpt. This is the, the new head itself, so these you pick one of these and glue it on the front of that head. And some extra bits that go on the rail rifle. Next sprue. Um, feet. Leg panels, the legs themselves, very nice sculpt there. The particle accelerator, which I'm a bit unsure about because it doesn't quite make sense, but oh well. Um, some sort of target lock here. Drone, uh, drone section for the gun drone. Uh, just a small connection, it looks like. This is the arm which supports the twin-linked heavy rail rifle. Main part of the torso, shoulder pad, arms. Uh, Antenna for the drones, main body, other parts of the main body, the shoulder pads, the what was originally a multi tracker sculpt, now it's got to be something else because the multi tracker is inbuilt. Um, cooling system for particle accelerator, cooling system, parts to make a shield drone, part to make a marker drone, marker light, more antenna. Uh, these look like they're going on the legs. And we've just got some general antenna and bits in here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be good fun building that up. Um, 
going to magnetise it, actually, so um, so I can choose what goes on the shoulder. This here, they have different mounts for the smart missile system and the plasma rifle, so I'm going to build that whole section up, put a magnet on the bottom, put a magnet on the shoulder. And uh, seeker missile, I'll just stick a magnet on there as well. And uh, what else have I been doing recently? Well, um, I did actually pre-order that broadside and a commander, but um, they didn't have the commander in stock for some reason when I got there, so um, I'm going to have to go and sort that out at some other point. So I'm still going to be able to run this guy for a while as my commander. Um, I'll just make up what he's using. Now a lot of my bath suits I'm actually, um, I towels my first army so I have to, they're painted quite badly and I have to re redo them all. And I'm going to cut off the weapons and magnetise them up. I've got some 2mm by 1mm magnets to use. And uh, just as an idea, um, this is the sort of condition that my um, Tau Fire Warriors were in originally, so it's not great. Um, and I wanted to fix them up so that they look better without having to strip the paint. So uh, this is what I've come up with. Uh, hopefully, you know, it, it looks, I think it looks a lot better. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, you know, comment with any questions you have or ideas. And uh, this was the Zach Carnage unboxing of the XV88 Broadside Battlesuit.